In this video, we are going to explore why photographers use red light in the dark room and what is the red light in a dark room typically called. We will also discuss why red light can be used in photographic dark room but blue or white light cannot. We will even further analyze what is the frequency and energy when using red light in the photographic dark room. Once upon a time, there was a hardworking and ambitious photographer named Richard who wanted to create the perfect photos. He was always looking for new ways to take great photos, and one day he came across an interesting technique used in dark rooms. The technique used red light in the dark room, something he had never thought about before. He decided to give it a try. After experimenting with different frequencies of red light, he found an ideal setting that was perfect for photography. The red light in a dark room is known as safe light. This is because it does not cause any harm to the photos or their developing paper. The reason why red light can be used in a photographic dark room when developing films but a blue or white light cannot is because the blue or white light has a shorter wavelength than the red light. The shorter wavelength of the blue or white light has a greater chance of being detected by the photographic film, which could cause the photos to be overexposed and have a washed out look. Another reason, red light in dark rooms is because of its frequency and energy. The longer wavelength of the red light has a lower frequency and energy, which means it won't affect the photographic film as much as other colors. This means that the photos won't be overexposed and will have a more natural look. Using red light in the dark room is beneficial for photographers in many ways. This is especially important when printing photographs because it allows the photographer to see the results without having to use any additional lighting. It allows them to see what they are doing and make sure that their photos turn out correctly. It also helps to protect their photos from overexposure, which can ruin the photos and make them look washed out. In conclusion, the use of red light in dark rooms is essential to producing professional-looking photographs or films. The use of red light protects the paper, films, and chemicals from overexposure from harsher, more energetic light sources such as blue or white. We hope you now understand the importance of using red light in dark rooms, its frequency and energy, and why it is the most suitable light when developing films and photographs. Thank you for watching and if you would like to learn more tech information, please watch more of our videos.